I've never heard the term microgreens. What is it actually? Or maybe I have, so, I just don't know. It's a, uh, so when you grow a plant, um, you've probably heard and seen sprouts like bean sprouts and things like that, where people grow them in jars. So it's pretty much your growing seed. And in the first like three to five days, it sprouts out of it. And that's what would be defined as sprouts. Okay. Super healthy. Um, nutrient is really dense. And then they grow to about, usually they're like three to four inches long. Um, some of them, you know, peas will get four or five inches long. And it's right before they start growing like their adult leaves. Mm. So they're still like really sweet. Um, the broccoli sprouts are like 40 times more nutrient dense um, mm. than adult broccoli. So it's like, it's really healthy. Um, it's pretty expensive to buy in stores. And so like you can grow them, like you'll grow a tray of them. You'll plant them on day one and by day 10, they're ready to harvest. So it's just really kind of fast paced oh. growing. So is there a lot of maintenance to it? There, there can be sometimes, but that's kind of why my videos on microgreens started picking up is because, uh, and not that I'm the first person to come up with this, but I built like a automated watering system and use some like Google timers. So it was like, you plant the tray in the beginning, which doesn't take very long. And then I put it under lights and it's just on a timer to turn the lights on and off every day to water it two times a day. I come back in 10 days and I cut them. And Interesting. I wow. I saw them like that. So <laughs> I love the idea of knowing where my food comes from. And I have, I have genuinely yeah. wanted to try to experiment with that, like plant my own vegetables. Mm -hmm. uh, I would love to try hunting. Um, yeah. Have you tried that? Yeah. My, uh, hunting. I mean, I've done a little bit of hunting, but like not enough to actually shoot anything. Like mm. I walked around with a, with a gun out in the woods. Okay. Um, not really expecting to see anything. It's more of just like, a, uh, yeah, I've gone out and kind of been with people who have hunted. Mm. So <laughs> you're from Utah, um, right? From Utah. So a lot of hunting here. Yeah. But yeah. Also love just like being able to kind of provide that stuff for ourselves. And yeah, it's, it's way better than growing something for, like in the garden for five, six months because it's literally like 10 days later you're eating the food. So like mm. if we're getting together with people for, um, you know, a dinner party or something in a couple weeks, like I can start growing now and have it ready yeah. for like some sort of a salad or something like that. I mean, not crazy foods, but you know, it's microgreen. So that's awesome, man. Yeah. I mean, especially today where there's so much garbage food in the supermarkets, like everything is stuffed with sugar, especially in America. So the thought yeah. of just knowing exactly what you eat is so cool to me. Yeah. Yeah, totally. And like, not to just keep going on microgreens, but like even the athletic greens, like everybody's throwing greens powder into their, their drinks and their smoothies where it's like, you can really get the same effect by growing it at home and mm. then putting it in yourself. Yeah. And like I've dehydrated them. So it lasts months and then same, pretty much the same product as athletic greens and things like that. So what's the output versus the input from, from the microgreens? Output as in how the much, actual crop. Yeah. How much do you get out of it? Um, so like, there are 10 by 20 trays, um, 10 inch by 20 inch trays that you plant in. Uh, so like this is, this is probably about the length Okay. and then it's about double the width. And so you plant that with soil and then you spread seeds like pretty evenly. So you're probably spreading like 500 more seeds, depending on what kind of seed they are across that. Mm -hmm. Um, and then it becomes just like a full tray of like the entire thing is like a huge dense 
bush of vegetables oh, cool. <laughs> and that's what you cut so oh cool yeah it, it's and, and even one tray for like me and my, my wife will last us a week or so if we're eating it mm. daily so like um most people in the stores are buying like a little container like a two to four ounce container and that costs them you know four to eight dollars um so it's like that will only last you like one or two meals mm. um but it's so nutrition dense that people pay a decent amount for it so. yeah can you grow it inside or does it have to be outside it's all grown inside for me oh, okay. um there are people who grow them outside but like for the growing conditions yeah you want it all inside and like really uh closely monitored like light durations and how much water it's getting and make, mm. making sure that stuff but again once it's automated you have all that stuff figured yeah. out so 